Now, an S corporation generally has one level of tax, just like a partnership, one level at the owner level when items are allocated out to the owners. However, there are some unique circumstances when an S corporation does have double taxation at the entity level and at the owner level, just like a C corporation. These unique circumstances are referred to as sting taxes. Just like the costume I'm wearing, I'm a bee. We have our stinger. This is my stinger right here. I've got my beehive with my bit of honey. So this, these are the sting taxes. Now, I generally don't hold my students accountable too much for these taxes. Just know generally what they are. The, the general idea is that if an entity starts off as a C corporation and then switches over to an S corporation, there is a way that the entity's C corporation earnings may not have been taxed when it switched over to an S corporation. So those items have to stay intact. Now, many of the taxes deal with that. So you'll learn about the passive investment tax, LIFO recapture, all these different things when you're studying for things like the CPA exam or maybe your other classes. The idea is that these taxes a lot of time are not present if an entity starts off as an S corporation and is an S corporation the entire time, which is what I do in most of my examples. But you do need to know there are some unique circumstances where again, an S corporation can have double taxation. And again, we refer to these as sting taxes. So just keep that in mind.